Welcome to Loomly. In this video, you will learn how to set up and manage an editorial calendar within Loomly. An editorial calendar is designed to make social media planning and posting easy, so you can keep your collaborators, clients, and target audience happy with high quality and consistent content. Developing the skills to effectively manage an editorial calendar will set you up for success. This tutorial breaks down the process of organizing your social media calendar and helps you manage each part of your publishing process efficiently. Step 1. Define your publishing guidelines. First, you'll need to decide how frequently you're going to publish content. Some brands share multiple updates per day, while others publish a couple of posts every week. In general, a higher amount of post is better to keep your audience engaged, but we highly recommend keeping an eye out for how many high-quality posts you are able to commit to posting regularly. Once you have identified your ideal posting cadence, you can take advantage of Loomly's scheduling slots feature to set your preferred publishing schedule and save time when creating new posts in Post Builder. The last component of your publishing guidelines is establishing an approval workflow for your team. This is the process of reviewing content before it goes live to make sure the right post gets published at the right time, in the right place, by the right person. Setting up an appropriate workflow creates a layer of security and accountability in case a post makes it onto Facebook with a typo or an Instagram story goes unfortunately viral for the wrong reasons. Depending on the size of your team and the level of accountability you need, your review and approval workflow may vary. If you work on your own, a simple checklist for yourself reminding you to check your posts for potential typos, broken links, and incorrect visuals will keep you on track. If you need approval from one collaborator, share a similar checklist with the person in charge of approving posts with clear approval deadlines, making sure to include some buffer to allow for some back and forth. If you need approval from multiple collaborators, go with a more comprehensive team-wide sign-off process to collect approval from your legal, marketing, and editorial departments before posting. This is why Loomly offers specific workflow options. The original workflow is ideal for larger teams when multiple people need to review and approve a post. The light workflow is best suited for smaller teams when one person needs to approve a post. The zero workflow is ideal if a single person is in charge of the entire publishing process. Once you have defined your publishing guidelines, it's time to... Step 2. Fill your calendar with post ideas. At Loomly, we know that going straight from a blank page to a whole bunch of fully-fledged social media posts may seem overwhelming. Just like with any big task, the secret is to break it down into smaller pieces. First things first, let's start with what you know best, your brand. Simply list events that matter to your brand and your audience, such as product releases, sales, and special events, brand or company milestones such as anniversaries, achievements, and awards, and major holidays and events in your field. You can either create posts right away in Loomly or save those events as custom post ideas. Second, fill in the gap in your publishing schedule with contextual ideas. This is where the Loomly magic happens as we suggest you different types of post ideas. Twitter trends, trending topics from Twitter in your location, RSS feeds, RSS items from your own custom selection of content feeds, Loomly inspiration, recurring, broad ideas based on best practices and internet codes, Loomly ideas, events, holidays, and celebrations happening on specific dates. Once you have a clear editorial plan, it's time to Step 3. Turn your ideas into posts. In Loomly, Post Builder was designed as a wizard, assisting you along the entire post creation process. Essentially, a social media post is made of three elements, a publishing date and time, some text, and one or more media assets. When you publish the same post to multiple platforms, you want to optimize it for each one, conforming to their respective technical limitations, community best practices, and audience expectations. 
For instance, if you publish the same post to Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and LinkedIn, you may want to have a base version of your post for Facebook, a shorter version for Twitter, sprinkle in hashtags for Instagram, and make it a bit more formal on LinkedIn. This is why when you create a post in Loomly, you can define some generic content that will be applied by default to all channels, and then customize that generic content for each platform. In addition, Loomly's library, which is available directly within Post Builder, makes it easy for you and your team to centralize all your assets, photos, videos, links, notes, templates, and includes them in your post at the click of a button. Icing on the cake, when you need additional resources, you can import photos from Unsplash and animated GIFs from Giphy into your posts without ever leaving Post Builder. As you build your post, you can preview it in real time with a live post preview. Once you are satisfied with your work, on to the next step. Step 4. Review, Approve, and Schedule Posts At this stage, you may be tempted to take your freshly created posts and simply put them online. But what if there was a better way to proceed, allowing you to boost both the quality of your posts and the efficiency of the process to publish them? There actually is a way. Reviewing, approving, and scheduling your posts is one of the most underrated yet crucial steps of the publishing process. As a rule of thumb, you want to proofread your post for consistency with brand values, message, compliance with brand guidelines, format, alignment with brand strategy, goals, any potential contextual risk, trending news, residual typos, credibility, Ideally, you want to implement an approval system allowing you to keep track of team feedback, save post changes, and make collaborators accountable for their actions, you know, in case something goes wrong. This is why Loomly automatically generates posts mockups for you and your team so that everyone can review and approve content through your chosen workflow before going live. No pain, all gain. Once everyone is on board, you can peacefully hit publish and push your carefully crafted posts in front of your audience's eyeballs. Loomly's built-in scheduler will take care of it for you automatically. Step 5. Measure and improve on your audience engagement. Once your content has been successfully posted, the final step in your publishing process is to get a deeper understanding of your audience in order to fuel your next production cycle with actionable insights. Tracking performance metrics can help you identify what went well and what went wrong for every post, helping you better connect with your audience with each new post moving forward. You'll want to keep an eye out for a few key data points, such impressions and reach are solid indicators of brand visibility, showing you respectively how many times and by how many people a post has been seen. Likes, reactions, comments, clicks and shares are absolute measures of engagement, which tell you how and how many times users have interacted with a piece of content. Engagement rate is the king of metrics, defined as the ratio of engagements, reach, or sometimes as engagements, impressions, providing you with a strong foundation to normalize and compare post performances accurately. Keeping track of the above metrics at the end of each publishing cycle, weekly, monthly, or otherwise, will give you pointers about where to post. Are there social networks where your content performs significantly better than others? When to post. Is there a pattern in terms of days of the week and times of the day when posts significantly perform better than others? What to post about. Are there topics, themes, subjects that your audience visibly enjoys and engage with more than others? How to post. Does your audience tend to interact more with certain types of content, such as photos, videos, slideshows, or links? Who to post for? Looking at your audience's demographics, are you able to identify patterns between fans and followers who consistently engage with your posts? With Loomly Advanced Analytic, you'll get a report of Loomly URL click counts, sources, and locations. Dive into your account level statistics, such as your total number of page likes on Facebook and followers on Instagram. Get into details with your post metrics table, which includes all the analytics you need to evaluate your posts, reach, impressions, engagement rate, and more. Filter and compare by date ranges to understand your growth and get a better understanding of your success. Last but not least, export all your analytics as PDF or CSV and share them offline with your team. 
bonus. Advanced Analytics allows you to access analytics data for all your posts, even those which were not published through Loomly. Bottom line, keep tabs of what your audience literally likes and leverage those takeaways when creating new posts. Wrapping up, how to manage your social media calendar in a nutshell. Creating your social media calendar means implementing the right process to make it easy to organize your editorial workflow. Once you've set up your initial social media calendar and publishing schedule, you'll find that each post will have a simple life cycle, from inspiration and first mock-ups to creation and approval, and finally, publishing and evaluation. Loomly assists you with the entire content publishing process with all the features you need to build a successful brand. Over to you. If you have any questions or suggestions, please contact our team either through our chat or over email at contact at Thanks for watching this video.